Hello everyone, my name's XJ. Um, before I start today's video, I'd like to update where I've been the last week. I've been very sick, so I haven't been able to upload anything. Haven't even been able to get toys, because I was that contagious. But um, today's different. I feel a lot better, and I'm ready to get started on today's video. Ooh, look who it is. It's a little special guy, so let's get started. We're back. It's been a while, right? But we're back. Not empty handed for the prize. Yes, everyone, today I've got Bandai and Tamashi Nation's Dragon Ball Super Superhero Piccolo from the movie Dragon Ball Super Superhero Piccolo. Ooh, I'm so excited for this guy. And I, I saw him at a hole in the wall um, anime store like a few days ago, and I'm like, oh, I've got to get him. I haven't had the chance to record it, but finally I get to record it. Yeah. I'm yeah, we got, I got him for like 42 bucks. Is that what it's? $43. <laughs> the fuck? Whatever. Um, let's, let's, let's get started on this guy, right? Trusty Dusty, new nail clippers. <laughs> I've been waiting to try these guys out on a new package. These are toenail clippers, so these things are heavy duty. <laughs> Won't fucking break like the other ones, hopefully. Where's the tape on this guy? Oh, here it is. God damn it. There we go. God, I'm a bit rusty at this, but um, before I unbox it, I guess I should say a little few words about him, right? This is Piccolo from Dragon Ball Z, or Dragon Ball, or, you know, Dragon Ball Super, superhero, Piccolo. You know, he's Gohan's little master guy, you know, from Z, when he's like, mm, kid, you're kind of cool. I haven't seen the new superhero movie yet because it's not currently in theaters in the U.S. of A yet, so I gotta wait, but it's Piccolo. Comes with a number, a couple of faces. Master fully crafted sculpt accurately depicts the character form in meticulous detail. We'll see about that. Jesus Christ. The super action, you know, when he goes this. Remember when he did that? Once? Ever? Whatever. This guy's... Oh, he comes with something. This guy it was made by Bandai, which I guess a lot of their fucking shit is made by Bandai. You know, like, all these fucking figures I have over here, the Dragon Ball Stars figure, are all made by Bandai, so... You know, they make Pac-Man. How did they get all this anime shit? Instructions. The Piccolo Superhero Box. My god. Oh, yeah. Also made by Funimation and Toy Animation and Shueisha. Please don't take me down. Man, I completely forgot to read this part. This is a fucking made by um, SH Figure Arts. Simple style and heroic action. Once again, we'll see about it, but it seems like these people really like to jerk off their figure. But, you know, I've unboxed a shit ton of these things, so let's see if it's worth it. Also this. I guess they make other figures. I only saw, like, old Piccolo and, like, the Goku over here. Nothing else, and I've never worked with this, so... Let's see. Let me read the instructions real quick. So, yep, standard. Just tells you how to take the head off. Let's get started on him, shall we? Whoa, this guy's a chunker. He's pretty heavy. Ooh... Comes in like little plastic wrap. I like that. All these fingers, a couple of different heads. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what he's all about, right? So this is the Piccolo from Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Wonder why they specified that. I mean, he kind of just looks like normal Piccolo. Wasn't the one in that movie orange or something? Ooh. God. Okay, this might take me a while. I'm going to, I'll come back when he's out of the little thing. Okay, I figured it out and just, I just got to remove it. I had a little thing to put my finger under. Let's get this guy, shall we? Ooh. What are with these shoes? Didn't he have like pointy little boots? Look at this shit, he's got like little flat to ups. Whoops. Ooh, little piccolo claw. One of many. Ooh. He popped out real nice, no struggle. Oh 
Okay. Ooh. Man. This thing's a lot different than the other figures I've unboxed. Huh. Let's see if I can get a clearer zoom up on that face. Hmm. Come on, come on, focus. Oh well, his um, he's giving a little smirk like. Hmm. <laughs> oh, wow, this guy's pretty smooth, honestly. Ugh, that felt weird. Like his his limb like extends. He's got like an actual like an under limb underneath this thing. He's kind of fat too. <laughs> Was Piccolo always this wide? Look at those boots. Let's do a feet test. I don't want his fucking feet exploding out like those last ones on Dragon. These are, since this is Bandai Spirits, right? This isn't Dragon Ball Stars. This is a whole new realm I'm venturing into. Especially with like, they also got like the new Gohan, but like, is it really new Gohan if he's just wearing the fucking Piccolo like gi? I'm one to say it isn't, but the, the thing about this Piccolo is that it's supposed to be more towards the manga, I think, because Normal Piccolo in the anime has pink arms. Like, I have a little Piccolo over here for side-by reference, see? And he has a blue little fucking little little loser gay thing. This one has a red one, and this one has yellow arms. That, that, but he, also in the manga version of Piccolo, he's gray, so... We don't know how accurate that is, but... He's got, like, little flat tops this time. Like, the weird... Because, like... I remember Piccolo had little pointy shoes. This one's a little bit loose, but let's check out the articulation, shall we? The head does a full fucking swivel. That bicep is really smooth for a fucking figure. It's weird. It turns all right. Holy shit, look at that. The whole little arm thing pops off so you can like maneuver it more. Man, this thing is dynamic. I'll give it that. Dynamic. Hmm. Oh dear. There's like no resistance to that at all when this thing turns. It's like, this is not like a stars figure. Nice. Good God. What's the swivel like on his little torso? A little bit of jerkiness, but it's a torso. Oh my God. That thing, that thing like turns like everywhere fucking round. Okay, let's, let's check legs. Knees. He's got like two knee joints. Like, see? One for the upper leg and one for like the lower knee. Good God. Let's check the other one. Same for, yeah, same here too. Golly. Swivel's fine on the legs, on the feet. 360, but it's also got like thigh movement, I think. Okay, it's a little bit restrictive there. No, wait, it's not. It fucking went all the way around. Bring it back. Dude, this is like a figure. Like, if it fucking, at the words of it. Look at that. Moves forward, moves back. And this is like not feeling like, like, it'll pop off at all. This is not like, this ain't your fucking stars figure. I'll tell you that for sure. It, it is kind of only can move one. Oh, maybe not. Damn. Sorry if I've got like a little bit. I, I'm not saying much. I have, This is like new to me and I wanted to like really get a look at it. I haven't unboxed this thing at all. But, uh, God. This has got to be like the most dynamic figure I've ever opened on this fucking channel. But, man. It, it surpassed my expectations at least. Whoa! That had fucking popped off real easy let's get let's put on a different head god everything just wants to escape from here fine before we get to the heads let's get to the little hands so this is another this is the other grippy hand where he goes oh hmm. this is that he, he this is him giving a five finger high five to when he, him and gohan are done killing that giant cell that was in that trailer another high finger five because you know they do this Ooh, and the fucking, the one where he, the finger where he goes, Makin Kokashapo! A move he only did once, to my recollection, in the fucking, what, the battle with Raditz and, like, Dragon Ball Z. 
I don't know if he did it again. I remember Imperfect Cell did it to him, but in that anime segment. But you know what? Who cares? Let's put on a different head. So this is him gritting his teeth because I guess he's so fucking pissed at Gohan for losing his little fucking kid. That head popped on real nicely. Jeez. Everything about this figure is just nice. It's really nice to like... Not nice to grip in the way that you would just Star's figure, but... It... <laughs> Why does the head look so tiny compared to the fucking... The fucking whole chest area? They... Like, did he, Piccolo's not this big, is he? When does he have, like, such a fucking huge head? Or, like, fucking huge body and, like, low head. Good God. This is when he's, um, this is the, this is the, oh, should I, I should pose him, shouldn't I? This is when he's about to fucking throw down with Gohan for that parentship, the parenting ship of that child. You know, the one that's in that movie? Bread Loaf? Videl's child? Han? Let's put on this last head and like wrap it up. Man, everything about this is just popping off. He's like well lubed. <laughs> that easy. This is when he's screaming out there fucking, he loses an arm and he has to go, ah! God damn it, did I break it already? God, what is with this snap, dude? I don't, I don't like it. I don't like this. It's too weird, he's too fluid. <laughs> That's what these things for. It's for dynamic, like real dynamic posing. That's what, like why it like moves so much, like articulation wise. Oh, I didn't even get this feet little shit, but it's a bit too like much. It's kind of like the Broly, but like it feels like nicer than the Broly. Still manufactured in China, but you know they used that good plastic on this fucking Chinese figure, made in fucking Tokyo. That are designed in Tokyo. Which, no, just the Tamash, T Tama, Tamashi Nations, Japan. But still manufactured in China, but still. God. This thing's fucking nice looking. Wow. I'm gonna have a fun time with the thumbnail for this video. Anyways, should I talk about Piccolo? This is a bit late. I'm, I'm off my game today, but Piccolo is a child. This is Piccolo Jr., child of... Fucking Demon King Piccolo, who was the evil part of Kami, the god of Earth, in the Dragon Ball manga. And in Z, he's still an asshole. You know, he vowed to destroy the Earth, or take over, no, take over the Earth, defeat Son Goku. And then slowly, slowly started getting a heart for love for the boy known as Gohan. <laughs> he trains him for a whole year. And then they fight these giant fucking meaty men known as the Saiyans. He dies. Kami dies. Dragon Ball's turn to stone. Gohan has to go to Namek. And he wishes for Big Daddy Piccolo to come back and rescue him. And he fuses with a fucking Saiyan named Nail. That's it. That's all that happens. He gets his ass kicked by Lord Frieza and does absolutely nothing when he comes back to Earth. Nothing at all. Oh, but you know, cells made out of him. That's how he regenerates. Remember that nucleus? Big brain. I guess Piccolo has that on his part, you know what I mean? Yeah, don't look at me like that. But to fight Piccolo, he fused with the Earth's god, Kami, becoming the nameless Namekian. Why he doesn't have a name, I don't know. I guess Akira Toriyama was like, let's keep him just nameless. They still all refer to him as Piccolo anyways, so, you know. You know, he doesn't do shit during that fight and watches Teen Gohan. Teen Gohan get his fucking ass kicked before he quickly makes short work of Cell. After <laughs> Cell makes short work of his father. But, you know, blowing up. After that, he just lives on the fucking lookout like a loser. And then he, what does he do in the Majin Buu arc? He's like, I'm going to participate as Demon Jr. so I don't cause a stir. It's like... Yeah, everyone might be an idiot now, but you still look exactly like the guy who fucking blew up the tournament in like 20-something years ago at that point, I guess. And what does he do next? The fucking, what, he teaches Gotenks how to make... <laughs> Gotenks. He teaches Goten and Trunks the fusion dance, and then he just fucking looks in shock as like Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks starts beating the shit out of Boo. That's pretty much all he does. What, he attempts at Lord Beerus? Fails? Because <laughs> he's Piccolo? But I guess in this movie, like, him and Gohan are on a fucking venture to stop the Red Ribbon Army 
why the fuck they're back, I don't really know. Wasn't it like some, my father wants me to be the run the Red Ribbon Army again. And then Pan's like, oh no, dad, I got kidnapped. And Gohan's like, no, Pan, Piccolo. And Piccolo's like, huh, huh, what, what do we do? And then he does this pose and he fucking shoots a death beam through fucking Perfect Cell's core, I guess. <laughs> God, so stupid. Anyways, I'm glad I had this figure. I really like Piccolo. He's one of my personal favorites. But Piccolo and Gohan are my favorite dynamic duo team. I, I like the purpleness. It it, it makes it's a lot better than the orange that Gohan Goku wears. Anyways, that's about it. I have to say about this guy. You know, like, comment, subscribe if you want to. I hope you all enjoyed X Chess COVID special because you know. Oh wait. Whatever. You know. I have nothing more to say about this guy. Great fig. Great opposability, to be honest. If you want to pick him up, he's $43. Uh, and he's... You can, I guess you could pick him up at... Um, fucking... TomachineNations.com slash Dragon Ball. Whatever. Is that... Hello, everyone. Hi. Um, to finish things off, I would like to say thank you for watching this video. And I, I like doing this. I, I me not being able to post in like a whole fucking week was basically like torment, but you know, we're back. I don't know when the next video will be because I'm still like recovering from ailment, but just so you know, I really enjoy making these and I hope you guys enjoy watching them as much as I love making them. Thank you.